Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch, and today we're painting Christmas cards. I have a great one of Santa and his reindeer in front of a full moon. Let's paint. I'm using Strathmore watercolor cards, and they are fabulous for something like this. And yes, I already did the pen and ink. I don't, I'm not going to bore you with it because if you want to do it, you're going to make up your own design. And if not, this one is available on my website, ready to go. So I don't want the moon to be just a cool uh, moon. I want it to be very, very warm and welcoming and, you know, hanging high in the sky. So I'm painting it with the nice nickel azo yellow and make, warming it up. And now I'm blurring in some cobalt teal. And notice I'm doing it all when it's pretty wet. So you just keep going and don't worry if it blurs a little bit. That's what we want. We want it to be all loose and easy. Christmas cards are absolutely perfect for painting something when you're practicing being loose because, you know, it's going to, it doesn't matter. It's just a fun thing that you're sending to friends or family to show that you care about them and you're thinking about them during the holidays and they're going to love it no matter what you do or if you don't want to send it, don't send it. It only takes a couple minutes to do. Now I want to darken it up a little bit with some ultramarine blue right into the cobalt teal, not waiting for it to dry or anything like that. So it's going to blur all over the place. Expect it to blur all over the place. That's what you want. I keep going with some layers. I'm roughly outlining and notice it's not blurring as far as you would think it would. Just a little bit. Just enough to soften those edges because the edges with the pen and ink and Santa Claus and his reindeer, those are the important edges. The moon, not so much. You just want to know it's a moon. Going in with a couple layers, I do not want it as dark as say um, I did in my fireworks painting or something like that where it was really dramatically dark. This is a much softer one where the dark area, darkest point in the painting is not the sky, but Santa Claus and the reindeer. But notice it's almost impossible to get a layer even medium dark without building it up a couple times. You don't want to just sludge it on there because then you don't have the transparency of the watercolor. You need to build it up slowly in layers. A bit more cobalt teal blurred in. Now I've wiped my brush clean or relatively clean and I'm just pulling out a little of the paint where it's where I don't want it. So I'm blurring it where I want it. Now I'm warming it up even more with some quinacridone rust because I do want the very warm colors. I don't want a I'm using the reds because I don't want it to turn too much to green. There's a little green back there, but the Quin Rust is going to help keep me from the green moon effect. And remember, I'm painting the reindeer and Santa very, very dark, so I can go right over them as much as I want, and that helps integrate them with the painting. Okay, so now, Everything has dried because at this point I did want separation and I did want some sharp edges. So I'm going in and painting the reindeer, Van Dyke Brown, Quinn Rust, a little pyrrole red in there and just making a very, very warm dark. So first layer, I'm going to add a lot of reds because I want that really, really glowing back there. Second layer, I am hitting those darks hard. So a whole lot more Van Dyke Brown and a, little, and a lot less quinacridone rust and some ultramarine blue mixed in with the Van Dyke Brown so that it's a strong, bold silhouette. Now 
It's funny, but those tiny little lines in there, you don't have to have them and they can be very hit and miss, but boy, they make a difference. They really make it look like Santa's reindeer and all of that. So obviously like the plain red, it's lovely, but it's just not strong enough. So I wanted just bits of that red to show through. It needs to be a silhouette against the only light source out there, the huge full moon. And that's pretty much it. And here is the sleigh all done with Santa and his reindeer against the full moon. Don't forget, if you go to my website, paintingwatercolor.com, I have the printable, so you don't even have to draw it. You can just paint it in. For more information, I have lots and lots and lots of cards on there. Have a very joyful holiday and happy painting. See you next week.